Hi everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me Louise. So today is the very last day of February, so it's the last day that I will be doing like a Valentine inspired or packaging inspired, whatever, Valentine's Day look. So today, my makeup looks okay, I guess. I'm not too disappointed like I was previously in a couple of these videos, but Mm, foundation's not my favorite, so I think I'm gonna, like, I'm going through stuff, and I'm gonna make a bin of, like, the things I'm getting rid of, and then I'll tell you why I think I sh I'm getting rid of them, because I know everybody's different, you know, and Lord knows my opinion's not the be-all, say-all, because I don't even know what I'm doing half the time, so take everything I say with a, um, salt yard, not a grain of salt, but a salt yard, okay? So, today, we are going to finish with this lovely heart right here by Lancome. It is 12 Shades of Love, the bit, the Monsieur Big, and it looks like this. I thought this was so cute, shaped as a heart, sort of like the Hershey Kisses, or shaped like Hershey Kisses, although I've learned these are a pain in the butt to store. And there is a difference because with the... Glam light. I don't want to say I don't like this formula, but with the glam light, the formula is is different enough and special enough to keep in my you know collection, inventory, whatever you want to call it. What I like to play with. Let's do it like that. Where Lancome is just Estee Lauder, all of them are kind of all the same, to be fair, okay? But let's get started. Um, I don't know if you all ever purchased this. I believe they even came out with another heart-shaped thing for like Emily in Paris, maybe. I didn't get that. But the first shade we're going to go into is this shade right here. This shade right here, which is called Base. I don't even understand why they labeled these the way they did, but we will just go with it, I guess, right? I mean, what else can we do? But, so this one's called Base. I mean, I do think you there's a good bit of color story in here, like, like not a good bit, but a couple different color stories you could go with in here. Um, and did several different looks that would be very pretty. The storage is just ridiculous. Um, and I do think for beginners, the formula's fine. Like, you will get along with it, you know, as far as that goes. Um, I mean, there's really not much to say, to, to be honest. It, it's a palette, you know? And it really just depends on what you're looking for. I don't think this is available anymore. To be honest. So, like, I don't, you know, know if you can get it. If you could. With all the palettes that I have tried for Valentine's Day, you know, there's other palettes that I definitely would recommend over this, you know. But, depending on, like, what you're looking for, I wouldn't necessarily suggest this particular palette. But, I do have palettes from Lancome, and the shadows are not bad. They aren't. So, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, they're awful, they're patchy, there's no pigment. But that, that's not it either. I mean, you can get a very pretty look from a Lancome palette. It's just the question of, is it in your price range? Is it a color story you like? It's the same old story with every palette, you all anymore and there are so many there's there's not that many bad palettes anymore because I mean people we've called them out you know there's definitely okay palettes there's more of those than anything and then there's the great palettes you know but these are definitely workable they're definitely certain um palettes that Lancome carry. There's one I have that I really do enjoy. I cannot think of the name of it right now. 
but I really do enjoy it and it creates a really pretty color, uh, color story. Well, it's a pretty color story that creates really pretty looks. There we go. I'll get to it. And I really do enjoy it. And it really don't matter what kind of brushes you use, whether it's synthetic or, you know, that's not going to play a, a different, I mean, it'll play a difference, but you will be able to create just as pretty using a synthetic. They're not like picky shadows or anything, you know, you're going to be able to just smack it on and go in theory. And I like that about a shallot. A, a sh you all, I am having problems talking today. I cannot get anything out right. But you can see that I've built this shadow up nicely. It looks like what the shade is in the palette. It's blending beautifully. I mean, it's just a really pretty shadow, to be honest. All right, the next shade we're going to go into is called Corner. And it's this one right here. And guess where we're going to place it? You guessed it, in the corner. So I'm just gonna place it like right here, and then up. Now, do remember that this thing here, is probably I know I, I would say two to three years old I know two but it possibly could even be three years old to be honest but look at that pigment right there like I actually got a little bit too much on my brush but that's okay because it blends out beautifully like you just got to blend it Like, I just didn't have any problems putting this look on today. And that's kind of nice. And there wasn't much thought process. Going back into that first shade. And I will say there's a nice gradient effect in this palette. You can definitely create a nice gradient look using it. And that is something that I do, I do like. But it all just really depends on what you are looking for but like i said i don't think this palette's available and if it was i wouldn't suggest this by lancome but i would suggest maybe looking at their just you know their regular palettes because these shades are kind of in their regular palettes also i mean maybe not the exact shade but you know somewhat to it All right, then we're gonna go into this shade here, which is called liner. Why, I don't know. But we're gonna line the lower lash line with it. And this is a really pretty pink too, to be honest. It is more, I don't know how to describe this pink, but it is a very pretty one. And a, like a dusty rose pink almost. And it blends nicely and builds and I didn't get any fallout out of this palette. Okay. 
Then we're going to go into the shade base up here. And I'm going to lay this all over the lid by tapping it. And this is a very soft look. You know, it's nothing like, it's more everyday probably if I had to take a guess. But, I mean, sometimes those looks are the prettiest if you ask me. I, I mean, I like me a colorful look. I do. Don't get me wrong. But sometimes just a nice, easy look like this is just perfect too, you know? So you won't hear no complaints out of me about that. Then we're going to go into the shade highlight, which is this one up here. And we'll pop that right in the inner corner. Like that. Very quick and easy. I mean, you can see that this look would not take you long at all. Whether you spray some of these shades or not to get more of a metallic look, you could. Or you can leave it just, you know, as dry and have it look a little, you know, subtle. It's whatever you're wanting to do. Then we're going to go back into that liner shade right here. I'm just going to line the top lash line with it. That's what I did for the other eye, and it actually turned out pretty good. I just kind of like pushed it into my lashes. It wasn't the most perfect line, but I mean, in all honesty, it worked, so why not? Anything to make it quick and easy in my book is the way I would like to go, to be honest. Because it takes me long enough to get ready when I'm actually like wanting to do my makeup. So if pushing this in like this works, I am like all for it. And it kind of did to be honest. I was really shocked at how well it worked at, you know, showing the color in there. And it, the color didn't make it look like, I mean, at the end of the day, like once the look's all done, the color didn't make it look like I had um, pink eye or anything, even though it is kind of pink. But I mean, overall, I really do enjoy the look, to be honest. Okay. <clears throat> so then I decided, oh, where are you? Let's go ahead with the Tarte Fake Awake. I'm going to put it in the waterline. I feel like that's the best scenario for me. When that I end, sorry. I actually forgot to put liner on. It just makes, I think it makes you look more awake. And I, I like the white too. I do agree the white makes it look very like noticeable. Where if you do go for like a skin tone color, it does make it a little less noticeable. So then I curled the lashes. And since we're using the Monsieur Big 12 Shades of Love palette, I decided to grab my Lans Lancome. Mr. Big Mascara, or Mr. Big, Lord have mercy on me, Monsieur Big Mascara, and use it. I don't think this is one of my favorite mascaras because it flakes on me. This is just the regular. And it's kind of wet. And because I make a mess, I really do like drier mascaras more, to be honest. But 
we shall make this work. If it makes a mess, it just makes a mess. And I also wonder, does this mud smear, like if you got hooded eyes, what transfer? I feel like I'm gonna have black above, my, like right below my eyebrows here soon. But I also don't really remember. I don't remember why I even bought this. I think people were raving about it. I thought about doing a video on products I purchased because people raved about it, but it'd be my whole collection. But some of it is good now. Some of it is not. But yeah, I did think about doing that. But I just don't think this mascara does that much for me with my lashes. And you know, it could just be that it is my lashes too. Because I know that there are a lot of people that like this mascara. So it could just be a me thing. It could be just, it don't like my lashes. It could be that I ain't applying it right. Who knows? Everything's so personal. But at least you get to see how it applies for someone like me who is a beginner and who doesn't really have lashes and who doesn't wear falsies. So, you know, my mascara kind of has to do it all. I'm going to use the Lancome Depth and Seals for the bottom lashes. Now this one I love by Lancome. I use it almost every day for my bottom lashes. And I think that's every brand. Every brand has some really good products and then <clears throat> like I could not tell you one brand that I like every single thing from because like that's not possible I don't think it would be weird but it'd be kind of cool I mean imagine a brand that you liked every product from. Like, loved every product from. Not just liked. Because liked, I could say ColourPop. That I could get along. I could, I could do that. But I really wouldn't want to. You know what I mean? So, a brand that I actually love. Every product. That'd be pretty cool, though. I mean, definitely have to shop from one brand. It might get kind of boring, but it'd be kind of nice at the same time if you think about it hmm, I don't know so anyway this is the final look anything impressing anything that I think is like a wow product here uh no 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 am I glad that I did end with this yes because it's such it is such an easy look it is such a regular neutral look that I created here and there's a lot of different ways you can go about creating those in this palette and even though I don't enjoy the packaging as far as like putting it away I do enjoy the packaging as far as looking at it it's cute so really that's all I have for you today um for powder I use the Too Faced uh, peach powder which I heard they're getting rid of Cool. I pulled out the NUR. Uh, the NUR. The NUR. I pulled out the NUR. No. I pulled out the Naked palette by Urban Decay Flushed. Naked Flushed in Nooner. I don't see this anywhere. I see they have different kinds of these, but this particular one called Nooner, I don't see. 
so I don't know if they renamed it or if this just was a special thing I don't know it's older than dirt but this is the bronzer the blush and the highlighter that I am wearing today on my face I really like this I think it's in sturdy packaging so I am glad I pulled that out I will be um, that and the other Tarte palette that I have that's bigger I'm working on those two to get rid of them or not to get rid of them but to pan something in them this here will go back I will put it back away I mean like I said it is cute packaging that is the color story one more time it's cute but it's nothing revolutionary it's nothing you know if I if I was to suggest anything just buy a regular palette buy them their formula is good as far as easy to use blendable pigmented you know buildable all that stuff so you've got it all but you can also have the same stuff in other brands but hey who, who you know it's up in the air right uh lip liner lorax ceo loving that and then i just dabbed a little bit of this little mini tom ford impassioned it, like just in the middle very little because this is so much darker than the lip liner but it worked and that's all that's it so that's all I have for you today I hope you liked this video I hope that you had a great February and a month of love and I just hope that everybody's doing well I really do and if you did like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe ring the bell hit all that way you're notified when I upload I upload every day but Sunday and I will see you in my next video. Till then, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.